Hey, YouTubers. <laughs> I know y'all be like, she always in that darn bathroom doing the recording. Yeah. Uh, you know, it is what it is. It's um, just a little bit after 9 p.m. So everybody is still awake and I'm, it's late, but I'm just getting dinner started. And I know it's late, but if I um, start any earlier, everybody is going to be walking around here hungry again. And I'm not the type of person that cook all day, like, back to back. You know, I'm the type of person where I'm going to cook breakfast, I'm going to cook lunch, and I'm going to cook dinner. And then that's that. Um, so, anyway. Um, so, um, I thought that I'd come back and follow up with, from my last video from yesterday when I was in an outrage from yesterday's doctor's visit. So, today, I... Um, I what I did was I put it all in God's hand. I told, you know, I spoke with God about it and I told him, I said, you know, God, this is your burden. I'm going to hand it over to you and and leave it in your hands. Um, but I did tell him, I said, but what I am going to do is I'm going to contact my doctor's office and just tell him that I'm not comfortable with this rheumatologist because this rheumatologist, understanding the fact that this rheumatologist is supposed to do a lot of things that they're supposed to do, but I really feel like um, at the end of the day, if they really feel like it's a problem with um, certain parts of my blood work that they're not supposed to bring me back and forth, but yet get whatever the problem is resolved, then bring me back. And so what I did was I touched bases with my primary doctor and I told him, I said, look, tell me if I'm doing something wrong or tell me, can you guys refer me to a GI doctor? Can you refer me to a GI doctor or should I just go ahead and go wait and go to the GI doctor that the rheumatologist is referring me to? I explained my story and um, what the re referral specialist did was um she told me she was going to call me back in nine minutes under nine minutes and she never did but i i, I kind of caught on to what she was doing she was trying to touch bases with my primary doctor she pulled my labs and everything and she contacted the rheumatologist and all that she just really did what she had to do and she called me back towards 5 p.m this was like about 10 something in the morning when I talked to her and she called me back towards 5 p.m. And then she told me, she said, you know, your um, the doctor here told me that she, he's just going to go ahead and refer you over to a doctor, a GI doctor that we know that we're going to refer you to. And I was like, perfect. That's all I wanted to know. You know, and that's what I really feel comfortable with doing. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. And I'm more comfortable with that. And, um, at the end of the day, it's just about respect and dignity and not being poked at um, like you're a guinea pig and, and and so on and so forth. I just feel like that when I when I when it's not my doctor, I just really feel like I'm being poked at like I'm a guinea pig, like I'm just being used as a um I don't know how you say it, but I just feel like I'm being used. And they're just, you know, seeing what they can get out of me, even though these are tests that they need and they're just trying to see. But I just really feel like if if I'm not a, if I'm not being of use for what I'm coming there for, then we, we can put off me coming. We can save the trip because I don't need to come see you if I'm not coming there for the reason why I'm coming there for it. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe I'm not making any sense. Let me, let me back that up. If I'm not being seen for my aches and my pains, then maybe I need to put off seeing you guys for another time and then focus on what the real what you guys found and then I can come back when I get that problem situated. It makes sense. And I, it really does. It really would make sense. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I did. I made my mind up and I'm not going back to the rheumatologist until we get this new problem figured out. Once we get it figured out and once we get that underway and once we get all that solved and that GI doctor says, you know what, look, everything's um, 
everything and this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it. Yes, you can go back to the rheumatologist. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and give you the okay to go back and um, go ahead and go see your uh, primary doctor first. Then we'll send you back there. But for the meantime, I'm not going back there. I'm not going back to that rheumatologist until we get everything else clear. Because what am I going to go back there for? For them to just ramble and, <laughs> and not have anything for me? Like, I'm going, I'm supposed to be coming to the rheumatologist for the rheumatologist to help me with my aches and my pains. They found the scoliosis in me. I'm telling them about my aches and pains, but you're still focusing on something that has nothing to do with you. And you can't even help me with this particular issue. You can't even prescribe me with a medication. So, like, um, I don't know. Um, anyway, my hair looks a hot mess, you know. And uh, you guys, please forgive me um, for posting this video looking this way. But it is what it is, you know. I, um, you know, it, it is what it is. But anyway, you guys have a blessed evening. I just thought that I'd come in and just fill you guys in on that. Um, other than that, if you guys, like I said, if there's anybody out there that's going through the same thing that I'm going through, that's experiencing these issues, if you're having problems with your doctors and they're referring you to certain doctors and then you get to these doctors and these doctors are doing extra work and you don't feel comfortable with it, please take it up with your primary doctor and let them know when you're not feeling comfortable with this and I guarantee you they'll help you out. Okay, until then, um, feel free to come in and ask me any questions. I might come back tonight. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow because i got to get up really early because tomorrow is what I call an early day because we got to get up extra early. My daughter got to be to school at 7.30 tomorrow. You guys have a blessed night. Peace.